My name is Brad Pattison. I'm the host of At the End of My Leash and Puppy SOS. I'm here teaming up with Castanet to give Colonaites this great opportunity to learn how to manage their busy lifestyle with a latte, cell phone, maybe pooch under the arm, or pooch on your waist. Stay tuned. Exiting out of a vehicle can be more dangerous than one thinks. Gathering up the pooch, purse, latte to go can be quite cumbersome. Before leaving the vehicle, plan ahead. Keep your hands clutter free. Oh my goodness gracious, look at all this stuff. You have a cell phone, coffee, the leash, the dog, all these things in your hands, right? Do you feel like you have everything under control here? I think so, yeah. Not even close. The phone can go, let's say, in your pocket. The dog can go on the ground. The keys can go in your purse. Freeze, what is happening? Where's your dog going? Reel the dog back in. Come on, let's go fishing. There you go, little buddy. This is why you need to have your hands free, okay? Make sure you put the keys away, cell phone somewhere safe, and then get out of the vehicle. That way you can manage your dog. Deal? Deal. Exactly, high five. See you later. This guy's entering the store without a second thought or consideration to the store owner. Whoa, 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 stop. Have you asked if you can bring the dog into the store? I didn't. You didn't. So, if your dog is unruly, then all of a sudden she might end up losing a client, and that's not cool, right? So, before you come into the store and you just waltz in, you want to make sure that you ask, hello, miss or Aaron, can I please bring my dog in? Yeah, sure. Then you want to make sure that your dog is already in a sit so it's not bombarding anybody, and then you can go shopping. But if she says no, then the next step is turn around, go back out, tie the dog up outside, put it back in the vehicle if the weather is cool enough. Okay, let's go shopping. Okay, let's go shopping. Okay, let's go. Okay, wait! Wait! See where your dog is? On your right hand side, away from traffic? Perfect. But your dog, over close to traffic, not so smart because, now look where your dog can go. Right? So, transfer your dog all the way to the other side. Keep your dog on your right hand side, away from traffic, between the two white lines. And now we're safe, all right? Good tip, isn't it? Good tip. Darn tootin' it is. <laughs> so now you guys get to take something away from how to cross the road properly, but more importantly, how to keep our little buddies safe, right? So don't forget, always keep the dog away from the traffic side. Have fun, enjoy the day, cheers.